evil, a profound darkness that lurks within the human soul sometimes manifests itself in ways that send shivers down our spines. This is not a tale of ordinary villains or petty criminals. We're delving into the depths of malevolence, where humanity's worst monsters dwell. From philosophers to psychologists, many have tried to understand the concept of evil. Is it a result of nature or nurture? Or perhaps a potent cocktail of both? Yet despite centuries of contemplation, evil remains an enigmatic phenomenon, a chilling testament to the darkness that can reside in the human heart. Across the annals of history, some individuals have personified this concept more starkly than others. Their actions, marked by an extraordinary degree of cruelty and malice, have left indelible scars on the face of humanity. As we prepare to recount the tales of the ten most evil individuals who ever lived, we venture into the abyss of human nature. So brace yourself as we embark on this chilling journey into the heart of darkness. At number 10, we find Ivan the Terrible, the first Tsar of Russia, whose rule was marked by acts of savage brutality. Ivan IV Vasilyevich, also known as Ivan the Terrible, ascended to the throne at the tender age of three, but it was in his adult years that his true nature emerged. His reign was a cocktail of paranoia, rage and violence, a lethal mix that led to countless atrocities. Ivan's violent tendencies were not limited to his enemies. He was known to turn on his closest allies and even his own family. One of his most infamous acts was the Novgorod Massacre, where tens of thousands of people lost their lives in a fit of Ivan's uncontrolled wrath. This was a ruler who commanded with fear, whose very name became synonymous with terror. Ivan the Terrible, a name that echoes through history as a symbol of unrestrained cruelty. Coming in at number nine, Vlad the Impaler, the real-life inspiration for the infamous Dracula. Born in the early 15th century, Vlad Tepes, or Vlad the Impaler as he is more commonly known, was a Wallachian prince with a penchant for the macabre. His rule was marked by a brutal and bloody reign of terror. His preferred method of execution was impalement, a torturous act that gave him his chilling moniker. This was a man who found pleasure in the suffering of others his sadistic tendencies birthing tales that would echo through history. His bloodthirsty reputation was so profound that it inspired Bram Stoker's iconic character, Count Dracula. From dining amid his impaled victims to allegedly drinking their blood, Vlad's gruesome exploits have painted him as a figure of ultimate evil. Vlad the Impaler, a ruler whose thirst for blood became the stuff of legends. Number eight takes us to Leopold II of Belgium, a king whose greed led to the death and suffering of millions. Leopold II, known for his lavish lifestyle, was anything but a benevolent ruler. His reign over the Congo Free State was one of brutal exploitation and inhumane atrocities. In the late 19th century, Leopold laid claim to the Congo, a region rich in ivory and rubber, which he used to amass an immense personal fortune. To maximize profits, he implemented a system of forced labor, ruthlessly exploiting the local population. Men, women and children were made to work under horrific conditions, often resulting in death. Leopold's cruel reign led to the death of an estimated 10 million Congolese, nearly half of the population. His relentless exploitation of the Congo Free State was a dark chapter in human history, one that left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of the world. Leopold II, a king whose legacy is drenched in the blood of the innocent, at number seven, we encounter Pol Pot, the architect of the Cambodian genocide. Pol Pot's reign of terror spanned four long years from 1975 to 1979. During this time, he led the Khmer Rouge, a radical communist regime that sought to transform Cambodia into a rural, classless society. This utopian dream quickly devolved into a nightmare as the Khmer Rouge implemented a brutal program of social engineering. In their quest for an agrarian utopia, City dwellers were forced into the countryside to toil in labor camps, while intellectuals, professionals, and even those who simply wore glasses were targeted for extermination. The result was a horrific genocide where approximately one quarter of Cambodia's population perished from execution, forced labor, starvation, and disease. Pol Pot, a name forever synonymous with one of history's darkest chapters. Number six takes us to Heinrich Himmler, the chilling architect of the Holocaust. As the head of the SS, Himmler was instrumental in the Nazi regime, exercising an iron grip over Germany's security apparatus. His power was vast, his influence pervasive, and his ruthlessness unmatched. 
At the height of World War II, Himmler formulated the final solution, a horrific plan aimed at the systematic extermination of Jews across Europe. Unfathomably, this plan was put into action, leading to the deaths of six million Jews in what is now known as the Holocaust. Concentration camps, mass shootings and gas chambers were the abhorrent instruments of Himmler's design. This was genocide on an unprecedented scale, a macabre testament to the depths of human cruelty. Himmler's legacy is one of unparalleled evil, a man who used his power not for good, but to perpetrate one of the darkest chapters in our shared history. Heinrich Himmler, a man who orchestrated one of the most horrific genocides in human history. At number five, we find Mao Zedong, the man behind the catastrophic Great Leap Forward. Mao Zedong, also known as Chairman Mao, ruled as the chairman of the Communist Party of China from its establishment in 1949 until his death in 1976. His rule, marked by sweeping changes and drastic measures, aimed to rapidly transform China from an agrarian economy into a socialist society through rapid industrialization and collectivization. However, it was his implementation of the Great Leap Forward that truly etched his name in the annals of infamy. In a bid to modernize China's economy, Mao instituted a policy that resulted in widespread famine, leading to the deaths of millions. The Great Leap Forward, ironically, was a great leap backward, with estimates of those who perished ranging from 15 to 45 million people. It was a catastrophe of unparalleled proportions, a dark testament to the dangers of absolute power and unchecked ambition. Mao Zedong, a leader whose disastrous policies led to an unprecedented loss of life. Coming in at number four, Genghis Khan, a conqueror whose bloody campaigns changed the course of history. Born into the harsh steppe lands of Mongolia, Genghis Khan rose to power through a combination of military prowess and calculated brutality. Under his rule, the Mongol Empire stretched from the Pacific Ocean to Eastern Europe, making it the largest contiguous land empire in history. But this expansion came at a terrible cost. Genghis Khan's armies were infamous for their scorched earth tactics, decimating entire cities that dared to resist. It's estimated that his campaigns resulted in the deaths of up to 40 million people, around 10% of the world's population at the time. His legacy is a complex one. A brilliant strategist and effective leader, but also a ruthless killer on a scale rarely seen in history. Genghis Khan, a conqueror whose name is etched in history with the blood of his victims. At number three, we encounter Joseph Stalin, the iron-fisted ruler of the Soviet Union. Rising to power in 1922, Stalin's reign was marked by a series of orchestrated purges, known as the Great Purge, which resulted in the execution and imprisonment of millions. These purges were not just limited to the political sphere, but permeated all aspects of Soviet society, from the military to the arts. Under Stalin's rule, the Soviet Union also experienced one of the most devastating man-made famines in history. Known as the Holodomor, this famine in Ukraine resulted in the deaths of millions, as Stalin's policies forced the collectivization of agriculture and requisitioned grain to fund industrialization. The famine was so severe that it's often referred to as the Ukrainian genocide. But the numbers alone don't capture the full horror of Stalin's rule. The climate of fear, the repression of basic freedoms, and the widespread suffering marked an era of unparalleled brutality. Joseph Stalin, a dictator whose rule was marked by fear, repression, and death. Number two brings us to Adolf Hitler, the man who plunged the world into the deadliest conflict in human history. Rising from the ashes of the First World War, Hitler capitalized on Germany's economic woes and social unrest, swaying the masses with his potent rhetoric and charismatic leadership. With the Nazi Party's grip on power, Hitler instigated World War II, a cataclysm that claimed over 60 million lives, approximately 3% of the global population at that time. Yet his most horrific act was the systematic extermination of 6 million Jews during the Holocaust a genocide unmatched in its scale and brutality. Under Hitler's reign, humanity witnessed the depths of its potential for evil. His regime's atrocities were carried out with chilling efficiency and relentless cruelty, leaving a lasting scar on our collective history. A man whose ambition knew no bounds, his vision of a racially pure world, led to the annihilation of countless innocent lives. Adolf Hitler, a name that will forever be a symbol of hate, 
terror and unspeakable evil. And finally, at number one, the most evil individual in history is none other than Caligula, the Roman Emperor. Born Gaius Julius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, Caligula reigned from 37 to 41 AD. His rule is synonymous with tyranny, sadism and sheer insanity. He was known to have his opponents and sometimes his supporters brutally executed or exiled without a fair trial. Caligula was also infamous for his decadence, squandering vast sums on his pleasure palaces, while Rome's citizens starved. His four-year reign left an indelible mark on the annals of history, a testament to the monstrous cruelty one man can inflict. This Roman emperor's reign of terror was so severe that his own guards assassinated him, bringing an end to his monstrous rule. A chilling reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink, and a call to remember so that such evil may never rise again.